Velmet Registro de Christus. My name is Isaac, and I'm a part of God's Squad up in Finland. And today's reading is from Matthew chapter 6, the verses 1 to 6, and the verses 16 to 18. Um, read it for yourself, by all means, but I'll, I'll just pick one of the first line of the first verse that goes... Beware of practicing your righteousness before other people in order to be seen by them, for then you will have no reward from your Father who is in heaven. It goes on about the same same way, and uh, basically talks about pride. What came to mind for me reading this chapter is, is a story about when I was a teenager, actually. I was singing in a choir, a gospel choir. And um, yeah, it was great fun. I still like singing. But uh, this was in the early 90s, really early 90s actually. And this choir, were, uh, we were going to Estonia. And um, this was probably just around the time Estonia actually got their independence from the Soviet Union. Around that time, I remember they still had the rubles um, in Estonia then. I changed about exchanged about ten marks for rubles, but uh, I ended up giving most of it away because it really wasn't that much to buy anyway. And ten marks would be about I don't know two euros nowadays, if 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 that. So um, going there, um, we were going to sing at a, a, a church one evening, and. Um, um, before this trip, I remember getting a Walkman, you know, the small cassette players that you can listen to music to, the, the very first kind of iPods that came out. And I was very proud of these small gadgets. Then those of you who are old enough knows what I'm talking about. And I brought that for the trip, of course. It's great to be able to listen to music when, when traveling. So uh, when we were reading a so for the concert that evening going to church um for some reason i, I kind of decided well i'll bring my walkman with me I'll, I'll put it in my pockets and i'll have the earphones around my neck and um i mean there was really any big reason for me to do that we were going to hang out and sing and it's no real need for me to listen to any music at that point in time and Walking into the church, I had a friend of mine that kind of mocked me for it and told me that, ah, take that off, you're just showing off your, showing off that's embarrassing. And he was, he was kind of making fun of me, but um, it did hit home quite hard because I kind of realized that he, he was kind of right. I, I was showing off. I was trying to be the cool kid with the new modern gadgets that I could afford. Well, actually my parents could afford at that point in time. And um, I felt quite ashamed for that. So I quickly put it away and I walked into the church with um, substantially more humble spirits and somewhat red ears because of the shame and um, it, it, it's, a, it's a simple story but it I remember the feeling of it just realizing my own pride in that that thing just trying to show off something that really wasn't really it wasn't really my doing in any way shape or form my parents bought it for me uh, I just I, I was just lucky enough to be born in a country where we could afford it at that point in time. Nowadays, it has to be said, Estonia is quite similar to Finland in many ways. So, uh, we, I truly enjoy visiting Estonia to all my Estonian brothers and sisters nowadays. And I did then as well. Uh, anyway, um, this story is, as I said, it's a simple story. But it says something about how easy it is to fall into the pride trap. Um, and um, this was kind of materialistic pride. I mean, it is very common, especially among teenagers. 
always be and probably always will. But um, religious pride, which this um, Bible verses speak about, it kind of stems from the same simple source within us. The, the, the need for us to be, uh, be seen, to, to be uh, admired, to uh, show off, to be the cool kid. And um, to be honest, at the end of the day, what defines us as humans and as Christians, especially as Christians, it's not the religious traditions we uphold, or how many times we pray, or how strict we did the fasting before this Easter, or how many meetings I went to, or uh, how many times I said the word Jesus during the last, last speech I had in church. Uh, I mean, most of our, basically all our traditions shouldn't be a matter of pride to us. They are instrumental. There are things we do to discipline ourselves, to discipline our faith, to help us focus our minds on God, to keep ourselves from falling into said pride trap. So we actually can focus on God and on loving the people God puts in our path. As simple as that. So, I pray, brothers and sisters, that I and you with me, God will keep us humble. That he'll keep us working on ourselves. Because at the end of the day, that's the only person I can try to make better. All the other people, that is mostly God's job. God bless brothers and sisters.